So what I want to show you how to do is say you don't have the budget to go out and buy one of these NVIDIA Tesla T4 graphics cards, or maybe you just don't have a computer that you can throw one of these into. Um, I want to show you how you can use an AWS EC2 instance called the G4DN Extra Large, which actually is running one of these uh, graphics cards with 16 gigabytes of memory to spin up an instance of this Fucus library, which gives you a UI that you can input some text or even an image. Uh, you can prompt it with images. You can do in painting and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I want to show you how you can set this up, run it on AWS, and be able to generate your own AI images. Here's a library for the Fucus. Uh, here's the re repo itself. So you can go in and check this out. I'll leave a link to it. But let's get started. So to get started with this, you're going to want to have an AWS account set up. Make sure you're in the right region. Um, I would just use US East 1 or US West 1 if you're on the West Coast. Uh, go into EC2, launch an instance. And then just to make sure that the instance we're creating has Python and um, what we want to do is use the deep learning PyTorch. That'll be fine. That way you know it has Python installed on it. Um, instance type, go down the list or search for G4D and and don't do a, uh, do a Excel. All right, so that puts the pricing at half a dollar an hour. So what you're going to want to do is spin this up when you're using it and then tear it down when you're not using it, uh, assuming you're not using this for some kind of production thing. All right, uh, key pair, you can create a, a new key pair if you don't already have one. Um, I already have a key pair, so I'm going to use my key that I already have, but basically if you don't have a key already, go in here, do a that PIM file with the RSA encryption, give the key a name, create the pair that's gonna download a file. Just make sure that you download that file and you know where it's saved because you're gonna use it later to connect. Uh, for network settings, you can use your existing security group, just use the default, that's fine. Um, now for the memory, I would go ahead and give this 128 gigabytes of memory. Uh, GP3 general purpose is good. And yeah, that should be it. Go ahead and launch that instance. And this will take a little while. Um, you can go into your EC2 instances and watch it initializing and starting to spin up. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to try to connect to that instance. So if you go in here, you see how we're going to use SSH. Uh, the dash I option means that you're going to specify a file, uh, access key file. And I believe on this instance, it's, instead of root, it should be EC2 user. If you do type this in exactly like this, it should give you a warning. Uh, whenever your instance spins up telling you to use EC2 dash user. Okay, one thing I left out is uh, if you go in and you find your key that you created, you're going to actually want to chmod uh, 400 that key. And what that's going to do is just uh, make that usable for logging into your server. Okay, so let's go back and see if our server is spun up yet. And go in and click into it, connect, copy this like we did before, paste, and hit enter, and just type yes when you get here. So it's trying to log in, but you see this warning that I was telling you about. So instead of giving, instead of doing what they have recommended, what you're actually gonna do is just replace that root text with EC2 user, hit enter, and now you're in. Um, you're in your EC2 user folder here, and <clears throat> So this is the packages that already are installed, like the NVIDIA driver and um, Python is already installed. You're actually running uh, Conda as well. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have Git. And in this case we do. Go ahead to the Fucus repository and GitHub. You're gonna git clone this repository into <clears throat> your EC2 instance, so git clone this. So this is going to give us the Fucus library CD into that folder. And we're going to go ahead and install. Uh, make sure we have pip. We may not have it. Okay, we do. So we're going to pip uh, install dash r uh, requirements versions dot text. So that's going to install all of the requirements for the Fucus library. So give that some time to install. Okay, I've gone ahead and cleared out my terminal, but at this point, we've got our requirements 
uh, if you ls, we still got all the files, we're in this folder. Now I want to go back and look at the repository. So, so far this is where we left off. Um, what I want to do next is go ahead and run the program with this dash dash preset realistic. And that's going to, these presets are going to decide which model we end up using. Now the other thing we're going to need to do is if we don't specify share option, all this is going to do is just run it locally. So we want to also specify dash dash share and that's going to give us a public IP address that it ends up running on. Now I've already downloaded um, this model, but for you it's going to take a while while it downloads that uh, the model that we specified and it's actually going to be um, like a six gigabyte model. So it's going to take just a few minutes, but when that gets finished, you're going to see that it is actually using CUDA with the Tesla T4 um, graphics card. And we're running now um, the app locally on port 7865, or it says you have this Gradio server set up uh, where we're port, for port forwarding. So you can open this here and you should see your UI start to spin up and you can go ahead and type your prompts in here. So let's say uh, Tesla G4 graphics card. Let's see what it gives us for that. And if everything went well, you should see it start to try to generate images using your uh, your instance on your AWS account. So all I want to say is be sure that after you've uh, after you get finished playing with this, um, you generate some images, do go into that instance and check mark instance and press stop. So you want to stop that instance. That's going to prevent it from charging you for the instance running. But remember also, if you have you have that 128 gigabyte volume uh, in your EBS volumes. So both of these will also charge, well, this one will, will charge you money each month too. So you need to uh, go in and, uh, and stop that volume too. So that's kind of it. Here's our graphics card that we generated. Looking great. Uh, have fun playing with this. Take care.